solicit your opinion on this call for negotiation, call for dialogue, call for uh, shared governance. And, you know, we're going to have an open discussion on this all tonight. But over to you, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Is this negotiation to de deal with ending this process and installing the legitimately elected government? Because officially, um, you know, we've had an election. We're heading into five months post elections with uh, multiple court cases, multiple attempts to block a number of things. You know, on Thursday, we we're expecting new, you know, the results for a new court case again, an appeal of that one. So my, my position, and I think almost all of the panelists tonight will probably be similar to that in that sense. If we're having a conversation about how to end this process and to end it according to the law and based on the results and of, um, of the will of the people, then absolutely, we can have this conversation. Conversations about shared governance in its current form, as, as, at least as how I interpret it coming from APNU AFC. There are no provisions in law for it at the moment. However, we cannot ignore the fact that APNU AFC represents a large proportion of the Guyanese population as well. Therefore, conversations can come after we would have installed the government elected by the people, and then we can move towards things like constitutional reform, which would ensure that all Guyanese are represented within the power sphere, and we can go from there. That's my official position on, on you know, these calls for discussion mm -hmm. and dialogue and especially shared governance. 